What's up guys? Back with a video, this time connecting SkyTrack Plus to GS Pro. Uh, some folks have gotten this working, uh, working together on Discord and I've got an early version of it. So let's play a hole and then I will show you how it works to get it connected. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tee off. Number one on Payne's Valley with my SkyTrack Plus. All right. Got a hundred yards, a little bit of a left to right lie. And I am playing on auto putt fixed. Um, so let's see how we can do here. Okay, and we're in for a par. So, it works. <clears throat> all right guys, so all of this information uh, is coming from Discord in a specific channel, and I'll uh, show you where that is in just a second. But to make it easier, I just put all this info and the download links on my website, so I'm gonna show you that now. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description to that so you can get straight to it. Um, <clears throat> So when you open up this page, uh, there's a little bit of a guide, but if you go down to step three, there are download links for both of these versions. And as I mentioned, there is a version with no putting and a version with putting, but that putting version does have some issues. Uh, one is that it's going to read every putt with no horizontal launch angle. So no matter how you hit the putt, it's going to read it as, it, as you hit it dead straight. Um, now, some of the bigger issues to me are that it, if you, your first putt of the game, you're pretty much gonna have to uh, slam that putt like a, almost a full swing or a pretty hard pitch shot um, for it to get it to read. And then after that, um, it will read shorter putts. And so I don't know why that is, but uh, that's just one of the issues. And then also once you have been putting, uh, sometimes it will get stuck in that mode and it won't read your full swing shots after that. So uh, for all those reasons, I would just recommend going with the no putting version and playing with auto putt on um, just so that you don't have all of that complication. As I mentioned, this is a super early version. So I would imagine that a lot of these kinks uh, will get worked out in the future. Um, but pick your version and download it. All right, so when you download your uh, file, it's good. you're gonna unzip it and it's gonna have this BEP and X folder. You're gonna copy that folder into your program files SkyTrack folder. So your SkyTrack folder in the program files, just drag it over and it's gonna ask for permission. Yes, copying over and there it is. So open that BEP and X and there are two files here, doorstop config and win HTTP. You want to move those into the main SkyTrack folder. So just take this win, drop it into SkyTrack, continue, and doorstop config, move to SkyTrack, continue. And when you go back to SkyTrack, you should have your Bepinex, doorstop config, and win HTTP all in this SkyTrack folder. And that's pretty much it. You're good to go from here. All right, so <clears throat> launching GS Pro. Um, and I'm going to wait till I get to the main menu of GS Pro. You can hear the music now. And the open API window will pop up. There's the open API window. And you can see I'm on the main menu on my projector there. And so my SkyTrack is already turned on, but now I'm going to open the SkyTrack software by right-clicking 
and going run as administrator. Yes, you have permission. That file is going to pop open. And I have not upgraded to the latest version because I believe that will break the connection. Not sure, but I'm gonna select no. And I'm gonna wait for Skytrack to fully connect. I'm using network mode to connect and then just head to the practice driving range. And then if we go back to this open API window, you can see right here it says connected and got this green stripe at the top. So we are good to go. Um, and essentially from there, you are good to open your uh, GS Pro and do whatever you want. Just leave all of the uh, SkyTrack stuff running. So that's pretty much it, folks. Um, it's working. It's a very early version. I don't know if you noticed or not, but the club data from SkyTrack Plus, <coughs> excuse me, is not uh, carrying over to GS Pro yet. Um, that's something that they're gonna have to work out in the future. Um, so keep in mind, uh, these guys that are working on this, they're just doing this in their spare time and uh, making it available to other users. So uh, we will see how these kinks get worked out uh, as we go forward. If you're on the fence about uh, using SkyTrack Plus with GS Pro, or like maybe if you're waiting to purchase SkyTrack Plus, I would still wait. Uh, give it you know, a couple months and we'll see how stable this is. Like I said, I think the latest SkyTrack update may have uh, broken the connection already. So we don't know, you know why that is or, or what, but maybe that's something that they will have to figure out how to avoid with future updates. Um, but as you can see, it is working and uh, <clears throat> you know, that's a plus. So um, also on the website, there's a link to the ST Vision Discord channel. That is where all of this development is taking place. And if you have any problems, ask them there, don't ask me. I have no idea how this stuff works. Um, I just use it like everyone else and try to follow instructions. So that's uh, the place if you want more information and uh, it's exciting news. So we will see you next time and I will be sure to let you guys know any future updates with this stuff. Appreciate it, see you next time.